Hello. Hey. <laughs> yes, we are back. <laughs> wow, eh, hey, you sound better. Huh? Wow. So what yes. do you do? What do you do to your vocal cords? Ah, yes. Ah. What I did was, uh, I brush ah. my vocal cords lah every morning when I wake up. Brush ah. Yes. Wow, you use vocal cord paste lah. That means. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Later, yeah. We'll, I'll show you how to do it. Hey, no, but, but seriously, you sound so much music. better. Ah, uh, here. Huh? Okay. No, there was background, background music. music ah. Yes. You hear background music? Okay, okay, all good. I, I oh, now, now I know why because I was streaming on YouTube, so I was hearing myself. <laughs> okay, okay, wow, you like watching yourself, ah? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, Pastor, do you do yes, you brush yes. your vocal cords in the morning? In the morning, I normally brush teeth, lah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's vocal why cords. Today... I think you're the only human on earth that wo- that brush your vocal cord, bro. Yeah, that's why today we talk about hygiene. Ah, ah hygiene, yeah, that's, right. Cords, that's right. That's yeah, so right. Who on earth thinks about the vocal cords, right? Yes, yeah. that's why I sound so clear now. Much yes. better. I look right, very, right. you know, bright. Yes, ah. I noticed you you shave a little bit. <laughs> wow, your, okay. your 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 eyebrow. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's yes. good to be back for Axis Chat. Yes. Uh, so today last, we're talking about yeah. engine, is it engine? Ah? Engine. Oh no, hygiene, hygiene. Ah, hygiene. <laughs> 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 Not low gin, high gin. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Your, okay. your name, name level a bit too high to follow. Ah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I think it's just stuck at home too long already, lah. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. And talking about yeah. stuck, talking about stucking at home. Wow, ah. wow. Yes. You know, people who are at home these days. Uh, we we care yeah. a little bit lesser, lah, in terms of cleanliness, right? It's true. It's true. Yes, yes. 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 Because so, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, even like uh, dressing, ah. Uh, yes. Because you're at home, right? Last time you go to work, you go out, you have to dress up, wear tie, wear suit, wear yes. you know, dress shoes. Now this work from home, right? On top only you dress up. Bottom all <laughs> we don't show. <laughs> Bottom all we don't show. Nah. So, uh, yeah. You stand hey, up and see the <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. No, can I tell a story, okay? Uh, Just two days ago, a few days ago, my son was having his uh, online class, okay? okay? He 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 logged in five minutes before the class. To me, the class haven't start yet. Okay, okay. And it was a big rush in the morning. I had to shower him, shower my baby girl, shower myself. So rushing in and out, then his materials not ready for class. So I was still shirtless. No, I'm not wearing my okay. shirt. Okay. Running in and out, you know, trying to get his stuff ready, you know. So I told him, Zion, please don't on the camera. Don't join your class yet. I'm still taking your things, and I'm not. I'm not dressed. I'm naked. He okay. went and joined the Google Meet anyway. <laughs> wow, then I hear the teacher okay, I said, Zion, why you turn on the, the class? I told you not to. I'm naked. Then he's like, uh, I said, why you can you switch on the camera? Then he says, Daddy, why? I said, because I'm naked. Please switch it off. Then uh, he went and unmute and asked the teacher, Teacher, can I please switch on my camera? My daddy is naked. Ah! <laughs> he told the whole class. Wow, and then I hear the teacher class, say, yeah. Uh, okay, Zion, yeah, you're not supposed to say that. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, Zion's but this is, correctly. this is work from home issue, la, work from home problem. Yes, yes. People I mean, I can, think... I can see the problem because, Pastor, you've been wearing this shirt forever. Yeah, never wash ah. until, from last year until now. Yes, yes, never wash from last year until now. And then Yue is saying that I'm wearing pajamas. I don't wow. know if it's pajamas, but yeah, I guess some people wear pajamas from morning till night. La. Right? Yeah, so this is the, this is the issue la, because... M- MCO work from home. People don't really care, no? Yes, yes. Really care. That's why today we are talking about this. Yes, because, and today, uh, yeah, correct. Uh, yeah. Today we have a special guest. In fact, we have invited to just to cover a little yes. bit a uh, broader spectrum of uh, because hygiene is a big thing, right? Uh, every yep, part of yep. the body needs to be clean. But uh, we're gonna That's talk right. about um, uh, general hygiene, and we will do it later. But uh, specifically okay. for this first part of the uh, Exchange Chat today, we're gonna talk about. Um, mouth, right? Dental hygiene. Okay, yes. okay. Okay, but before, or oral hygiene. Yeah. Or oral hygiene. That's right. I keep on uh-huh. saying it's a mouth hygiene. Mouth hygiene. I don't know. Correct lah. Same lah. I don't know lah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but before Here, like, we, area. yeah, before uh-huh. we introduce uh, our guest speaker for today, uh, let me yes. first start by introducing our teen for today, representing all teenagers out there. So put your hands yeah. together for Samantha Liu. Yay! Whoa. Oh, hey. ah, I think we've seen you before, huh? Long, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, 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 the Korean one. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> you have added some posters to your wall. I can see yes. that. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah. And, very and nice, the reason nice. why we invite Samantha specifically is because she is a big fan of Korean stuff, and we all have a good perception that Koreans are cleaner. Uh, let me introduce Dr. Wei Sing. Uh, hi, Doctor. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Nice to hi. meet you. <laughs> Dr. Wei Sing, thanks for being uh, with us. Yeah, everybody yes. say hi to Dr. Wei Sing. Just type it out. Yes, yes. Second. On That's Instagram, more. on yes. YouTube, Facebook, even on Discord. Yes. Please say hi to Dr. Wei Sing. All right. Yes. If not, tonight, yes. the tooth fairy will pull out your teeth. Yes, yes. yes. Hi. He's a dentist. That's right. Correct. Good fairies <laughs> collective. They don't pluck out teeth, huh? Correct, correct. <laughs> they don't, they don't. Two, two demons maybe will come. Two demons. Oh, okay, right. okay. I've been reading the wrong book. Okay, but let me introduce <laughs> Dr. Wei Sing. Uh, so, yes. Dr. Wei Sing or Dr. Chong Wei Sing uh, graduated as a dentist from Ames University in 2016. Okay, that's A-I-M-S-T, all right? So, he's friendly, caring general dentist with four years experience in small dental practice. Uh, he's currently setting up his very own dental clinic that's right and that actually wow. if you don't know is a very big achievement okay uh, setting up your own awesome. dental very clinic cool. okay it's called Twinkle Dental Clinic wow yeah that's go like, check out my wow. Instagram page uh, someday uh. it's called a Twinkle Dental Red, Clinic yeah Twinkle Dental uh. Twinkle that's Dental right. my so Twinkle, Twinkle Dental, dental Clinic that's right on yeah. Instagram okay and the clinic is located in Cyber Jaya in Puchong in Pulau Maranti Puchong, Puchong. yeah yes. it's still under Puchong, renovation okay. it's going to be ready soon right after MCO okay okay, okay. Yeah. great great yes great. so All if right. you need awesome. uh, to check your teeth uh, reach out to Twinkle Dental Clinic and your teeth will Twinkle. Twinkle. Yes. Like, like a, a star. little star. Shine bright. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shine bright like you a can, diamond. You can see the star in your teeth there. Ding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, exactly like That's that. That's right. That's right. Yes, correct. Yes. Wow, awesome. Okay, uh, so we've got some activity today and uh, we've gotten yep. Sam. So Sam, do you do you brush your teeth in the morning? Uh, yes, I, because I wear the braces, so I have to constantly brush my teeth like after meals and stuff. Oh! Wow. So how many, times, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> how many times you brush your teeth in a day then for you, like on, on average? Um, about two to three times. Oh, wow. So, okay, that's, very good, that's very good. Yeah. That's, that's very, very good. good. Yeah, I thought lot. that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some people don't even brush, especially during MCO. I've seen oh. a lot patient like that so mm. <laughs> okay. yeah that's what we heard dr way saying in, in fact is that very statement that that uh, inspired us to do today's uh, tonight's chat someone told us a few weeks ago that during mco a lot of people don't brush their teeth uh to be honest uh we can see the trend also la. sometimes the, uh -huh. we i have my regular patient uh okay. we're talking about teenagers like yeah teenagers yeah. uh their teeth are usually quite okay one sometimes for right. that particular patient, she's quite okay. But then lately, uh, we are MCO has been around for more than a year. Uh, mm. Definitely can see some changes in her overall hygiene. Can see the plug wow. around the gum on the tooth surface. Like, uh, I have to pay more <laughs> attention on brushing already. Wow. So that's, wow, wow, wow. that's why. La, uh. Awesome, awesome. Okay, okay, why, for okay. all those watching us right now on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and Discord, if you don't brush your teeth, type it out in the comment section so we know, all right? Um, <laughs> okay, but also know that you get to ask us questions, any question at all regarding hygiene. If it's not oral hygiene, it's fine. We will still attempt to answer them. Uh, there's a QR yeah. code on the screen. Scan it. Yes. Uh, it will lead you to Slido. Type out your question. You can type out as an anonymous person uh, so that you know if you're shy and all that. We will help you uh, understand uh, why is this whole hygiene thing important. Uh, we'll attempt to answer your questions later. All yeah. right, cool? Yeah. Yes. Great. Okay, so we move on to activity right now. So Sam, how well do you know on how to brush your teeth? Do you, do you think that you know the right way to brush your teeth? <laughs> or do you know that that's the right way to do it? <laughs> um, I actually just follow according to what my dentist taught me after I wear my braces. So I have to like use this really tiny brush to wash my, um, like in between the metal gaps. And then I have to like use the flossing thing. And then after that, I have the, the toothbrush, but it's like a specific toothbrush for the ones where you wear the braces. So it's much more easier to brush your teeth in between the metal. Yeah. Wow. wow. Samantha, hey, Kanesh, this is like some kind of operation, you know? I, I don't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just, <laughs> my brushing teeth is like, wow, not even one minute. 
<laughs> you cannot. You even get, less like... than one minute is not correct already. You <laughs> definitely need to learn how to brush the teeth again. That's why I'm here tonight. That's why I'm here tonight. Ayoh. To learn the right way. Uh. How many years of brushing teeth and we've been doing it wrong? Yes. Uh, that's why. That's the problem. Yeah. No, no but I remember <laughs> that we, we had this education right before on how to brush teeth. Hey, for me, that's like... That's like a lifetime ago, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in primary school. <laughs> primary school, we stand, we squat in front of the drain, you know, outside our classroom. We squat one <laughs> yeah. row there, you know, and brush. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we still do the it nurse. the same way, you know. In, wow, in, amazing. When we go to, the, to go to the school and teach them how oh. to brush. Yeah, okay. still the same. Okay, okay. Awesome. Okay. Yes. At, at, least, at least the way to, 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 to brush teeth hasn't changed. Lah. So hopefully we are doing it the same now. All right. Those of yes, you yes, watching, yes. if you've prepared your toothbrush and your toothpaste, wow. there you go. Yes. And uh, I've prepared yes. my... Wow. Don't judge, don't judge my toothpaste. Eh. I use Colgate. According hey, to I also tele- same. Ah. According to television uh, promotion, Colgate is the best. Lah, so I buy. Okay, okay, okay. As long as any suitable toothpaste is fine. La. The most important thing we need to see when we purchase a toothpaste is we need to look for fluoride. As long oh. as there are fluoride in it, you're good. Yeah, usually sensitive. The gen- over most of the toothpaste contain fluoride, so don't worry. La. I don't know about okay. fluoride. Mine is fresh cool mint. Yes. Good enough, good enough. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> well, all right. I'll find for that later. Okay, let's yeah, go. Well, okay, so Doctor Weixing will go through with us, uh, very quickly the the dentist way of brushing teeth, right? And so we, uh, hopefully that's the right way to do it. Okay, if you're watching from screen, uh, why don't you do it as well? And then type it in the comment section and let us know the the difference between your way of brushing teeth compared to what you're learning today. And that's going to be very cool. All right, Sam, I think yours is different because you are using a tinier brush, but Let's have fun anyway. Okay, so step one. Let's go, Dr. Wei Singh. Okay, so yeah. step one, take your toothbrush. Then you need toothpaste. Okay, okay. I this. You can wet your you can wet your toothbrush first, lah. Huh? Yeah. Okay, if something is too dry, it's, it's gonna feel a bit weird. Okay, so, so take how your toothbrush. much toothpaste? This okay. one, toothpaste. Uh, we need a P size. So a round dot should be good enough. Okay, as like like you're using Colgate toothpaste, right? You turn to the back of the toothpaste. That's a dot over there, P size. Oh, Can you see it? This thing ah, here. that's a this reference. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a reference this for you, lah. Yeah. Yo, Ooh. my cookie don't have lah. I think the cookie don't have. I, I always one. see on cartoon, right? You put like one big thing there. One hole like a caterpillar, <laughs> eh? Uh, no need, no need. That's no, too no, much. No, no. Is, that one is marketing, marketing trick. That one. Uh, right, so that you buy, day. you yes. finish faster and buy more. So free, yeah, correct, correct. correct. <laughs> ah. okay, 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 so you got your tooth. Yeah, now you got your oh, toothbrush your and toothpaste brush ready. Black color, nah. Let's show how dirty you are. Some googly lah. Okay, okay. So first thing we we're doing it. You need to angulate your toothbrush about forty five degree. Uh, yeah, forty five degree. So it's gonna touch the. I'm gonna show it this way. So the brush will have to touch the tooth surface and the gum. So if this way. You're gonna angulate upward a little bit. Upward, okay. Yeah. yeah. So the brush, the bristles will touch the margin of the gum. Okay. Okay. So it's over here. Uh-huh. So we're gonna do circular, small circular motions. Circular motion. Yeah, small circular motion <laughs> and push it down. Okay. Each time your toothbrush can brush around three teeth at one time. Circular motion, touching the tooth and the margin of the gum. Okay. So that I can do this, stroke it down, this motion. Wow. Okay? Circular is so it. hard. You know what I do? I just go like... Mm. It cannot lie like this. Then yeah, later <laughs> your teeth is gonna... Your gum is gonna get injury. Uh. So... Uh, okay. Multiple, yeah. So usually this technique, uh, circular for all the surfaces. Okay, or especially the front. The front, front, one. front including right, the front one. Yeah. So the front one is actually quite easy. La. But okay. some people, they are too lazy to bother, they only brush the two surface. When you brush the surface only, uh, the margin of the gum is still packed with plaque. Plaque are the dirty food, la, the dirty things oh. on the surface. Then wah, so, after a long time, it's going to become a carry stuff. So if I go circular, oh. it should cover the gums as well. Yes, it will touch the gum and the two surface. All right, Ooh, understand? Okay. So, oh, wow. so you have to so do it all the surfaces including here okay 
<laughs> ah, okay. It's kind of weird okay. to brush your teeth in, in front of the camera. <laughs> and it's someone okay. you have to <laughs> keep talking. Oh, so difficult. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now we're going to do the inside. Inside, the same concept. Okay. You have to angulate your toothbrush 45 degree. Okay. Touching inside. both the tooth surface and <laughs> the, the gum. Just grinding away. <laughs> okay. That's why okay. you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so no, for how the to talk part, now? <laughs> cannot talk. I talk. I talk. Never mind. Okay, I talk. I talk. Ah. Okay. Oh, so oh. for the fun part, ah, uh, uh, do a small circular motion and pull it up. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Small circular motion. Pull it up. Okay. And the oh, other oh. side, inside, inside, the other side. Can ah? Can right? Oh, 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 can lah. Oh, small oh, circular oh, motion. Oh. Push it down. All right. Then for the lower, same concept as well. Okay, for the lower, you guys upper done already or not? Yes. Done already, uh. Yes. Now the lower. Uh, uh, uh. Put your toothbrush and the tooth and angulate 45 degree downward so it touches the margin of the gum. Oh, uh -huh, there so, you go. Circular. circular motion, pull it out. Circular motion, pull it out. Pull towards the biting surface, yeah? Including here, la. And the side, all the surfaces. Yeah, I feel so clean right now. Can right. Wow. We're not even we're not even halfway done yet. Oh, we're not done. Yet. <laughs> okay. So we're talking no about the outside done. Now the inside. That's why okay. you finish in one minute. <laughs> one minute, uh, definitely not correct already. For sure. Okay. Okay, now the inside, same technique. Ah. Circular and pull it out, lah, yeah? Oh, oh, oh. So now the oh. outer and inner surfaces, done. Okay? Now the biting surface. Oh, this one is the easiest already, lah. No one can get this wrong. Yeah, well, like scrubbing floor, ah. Yeah, ah, uh, scrubbing <laughs> the floor, lah. <laughs> scrub, 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 all the surfaces up and down, lah. Huh? Okay, another area you need to pay. There's two areas you need to pay attention when you brush. The lower inside this lower area. Inside. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Lower inside. So do some circular motion and pull it out. Okay. Oh. Usually oh, oh, this is the area we see whether you brush correctly or not. Because this is the area where the most calculus will stick there. That's where all the form data form, area. right? Yes. You yes. open your mouth, ah, ah, and then you can see already. Okay. okay. This is one area. Area number two is the upper outside, the last oh, part. Oh, the back side. The back side of the it. Back. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The last, the furthermost part. Okay. okay. Remember to, because what, what's happening is, sometimes the our cheek is covering around here. It's covering at the side. So our toothbrush couldn't reach the last Tooth. Okay. okay. So when you brush, remember to make sure your brush touches it, touches the last tooth. Okay. That's the okay. thing you need to pay attention. Okay. okay After okay, everything okay. done, brush your tongue. Okay. Brush your tongue. Now, just scrub the tongue, is it? Yeah, just scrub the tongue. Yeah, I remember oh, this. This where good. my this where my grandfather always got. Oh! Wow. Hey, I must, I must, Ganesh and Dr. Say, I must say my one minute includes brushing the tongue. Huh? What wow, damn fast are you? <laughs> no, but what's the logic of brushing tongue? Okay. Hello, have you seen your tongue? Uh? It's quite clean. Uh. Ah, it's not very clean. Uh, yeah. okay, because our tongue is very rough. Lah. Okay. Uh, after brushing, oh, after brushing your tongue, uh, then you can start rinsing your mouth already. Lah, huh? Okay. <laughs> Okay, usually we advise not to use water to rinse your mouth after brushing. Oh man, that's oh. Uh, nice. is that new? Very new. That's something <laughs> like I've been doing. Then it. use what? <laughs> you just spit it out. That's what you should do. But oh. it's really disgusting for most people. I, I think everybody thinks it's disgusting to have all the bubbles in your mouth. Lah. So if possible, just take some water, a little bit of water to gargle, that's all. Right, then when you spit it, it will be like like glimy, sli slimy, slimy. Yeah, right? all your yeah. saliva like that. Okay, okay. So, uh, the wow. concept is, because uh, if you gargle too much, uh, you wash away all the toothpaste that's attached on your tooth. So, the fluoride can't provide its function, can't bring out the function. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. Uh, so, wow. just rinse a little bit. Okay? Okay. okay? Yes. Can? Yes. Okay, so, uh, there's one more thing you need to do is floss lah. Dental floss. Usually, you should floss before brushing your teeth. All right. Uh, okay. Most people don't floss <laughs> la, but okay. mm, have to. Uh, have to. Uh, you have to do it at least once a day, lah. Yeah. At least once so, a day. Okay. When you floss, take out the floss. 
take out the floss, maybe the length of your arm, your forearm. Okay, so tie in, in between your middle finger. You can tie at your finger, normal finger is fine, now, yeah, your pointy finger. So after this, you have to slit it in between your teeth. Right. Put it in your between your teeth and push it wow. downward until beneath the gum. Okay, and then push the foot out. See the the tooth is broken. Wouldn't that now. push the I foot see. inwards rather than outwards? <laughs> uh, not really la. We're not asking you to force the thing in la. So when you push push it in slowly, gently, then you just pull it out la. Okay. It's quite easy. It's not okay. difficult. It, it, look, it, is more it, like... it looks painful though. It looks painful. Is it not? Okay. Uh, some people say, "Hey, doctor, whenever I floss, I get bleeding. I, oh. My gum bleeds a lot, so I don't floss anymore." Uh, this concept is very wrong. Okay. Number one, why does your gum bleed? It's because it's not clean. Whenever it's not clean, it's a bit swollen. When it's swollen, it bleeds easily. So oh. when you see there's more blood, you don't brush. So it's like, oh, I got blood. I don't want to touch it. So it's, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Oh, ah, yeah. So whenever you see there's bleeding, you need to pay more attention at that spot. Okay. If you feel the bleeding won't go away, as in like, I've been brushing for one month already. Why is it still bleeding? Go look for a dentist. The dentist can do help you. Don't worry. All right. Twinkle Dental. Yes. Yes. Twinkle yes. Dental. Follow yes. follow Twinkle Dental on Instagram. That's right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Those of you who have brushed your teeth together with us, or if you've seen us brush teeth, uh, type it out in the comment section below and share with us what's yes. different compared to what you have already been doing at home. Okay. Also, you get to ask right. any questions at all, especially now regarding oral care. Uh, use the comment section on YouTube or Facebook or you can type it out in Slido. We will check and uh, we'll attempt to get them answered. Okay, you should ask now because after that, we are going to move away from oral hygiene. So ask now. Yeah, we or, do have a question. Yeah. Mm. We do have a question on Slido. Someone okay. asked uh, Anonymous. Hey, I see this person a lot. Uh, anonymous. Always come to our chat and ask questions. <laughs> okay. uh, this, this person got a lot of questions. Uh, uh, Miss or Mr. Anonymous asked, how about the use of electric Toothbrushes. Oh. Is it cleaner and is the uh, method different? Ah, okay, the concept is still the same. Uh, if uh, To me, the most important is the technique, regardless you're using an electric toothbrush or the manual one. Okay, If you use the electric, the same concept right. applies, which right. is you need to make sure your brush touches the margin of the gum here. Okay. okay? After you brush, if sometimes after you, you're not sure whether it's really clean or not, uh, after you brush, you can use your finger and go and scrape it a little bit gently around the surface. See, see, got food or not? If got food, means which means it's not clean lah, huh? Ah, uh, so either either toothbrush is fine. Okay. Wow. Okay. I've got a question. Okay, okay, uh, okay. what? Wow. What if I just use mouthwash and I don't brush at all? Does that work? No. Why? Mouthwash is supposed to dissolve hair. everything, right? <laughs> and no, it doesn't dissolve. It's like your hand is dirty. Okay. You just put in the soap water. That's all. Is that that's supposed to work? Is it right? gonna be clean? <laughs> 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 no la, so you cannot. You okay, must okay. brush your teeth. So the correct sequence so, will be floss your teeth. Okay. Uh brush okay, your teeth. Okay. Then use okay. a mouthwash to gargle it. Okay. Okay. And then after the mouthwash, don't rinse with water, right? No, 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 no. You just leave the mouthwash, that weird feeling in your mouth. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> so that you feel fresh, ma. a lot of mint inside. Uh, so uh, people, won't okay, feel, okay. people won't feel the bad breath, uh, especially the morning breath. Oh, so bad. Uh. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Kanesh, okay, stop just using the mouthwash. <laughs> No wonder I've been smelly. <laughs> oh, hey. no, but, but, no wonder you, you smell good by the teeth yellow. Uh. Oh, hey, yeah, how, hey. how does that happen? Like, uh, teeth being yellow, is it just a brushing teeth problem? Or some people say you drink a lot of coffee, you know, naturally it becomes brown. Uh, is there like a science to it or what? Okay, uh, there are many reasons why the teeth appear to be yellow. Uh, we're talking about, okay, the first type, which is the tooth itself. The teeth itself is yellow already. Okay. Born with it. Like, Inside like, yeah. is already yellow. Okay. You can't do anything about it. Okay. Right, uh, right. What we actually can la, can do whitening. Uh, there are a few things can be done in the clinic. La. So another type of yellow is uh, dirty. 
being dirty, a lot of stain from coffee, curry, right. or other colored food. Lah. This one, number one. Number two, uh, some medication can cause staining as well. Uh, that's mm. not very often, lah. not very common, but it can happen. Another thing is you're not brushing properly. Lo. The food got stuck there. It got built up and a yellow layer of plaque covering your tooth. So it is not very pleasant to see and smell, lah, to be honest. Right, right, ah. right, right, right. Wow. So I have to brush even more. Lah, huh? if, after you brush correctly, if you feel it's still very yellow, go and look for a dentist for second opinion. Oh, no, okay. mine, mine is a natural one. I'm born with it. Yes. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> you say or your dentist say? Uh. <laughs> it's quite white. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Samantha, how, what, what do you think? Like, um, is this something you have been practicing all the while? Like uh, the whole flossing, it's... brushing, mouthwash. Yeah. Yeah, I think I started the practice like especially after I got braces because okay. yeah, it's hard. It's um more there's more procedures to do when you get braces, so you have to brush it more constant, uh, frequently. And at first, I didn't really like flossing as well because it took a lot of my time and it's very troublesome. Um, but knowing that um I don't get any complaints from the dentist when I go the next one, it's it's worth it lah to floss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, especially teenagers with braces, lah. You really have to pay attention in keeping the teeth, the oral health, to be good, lah. It's really important because, uh, whenever imagine for you people without any appliances in the mouth, you don't brush properly, it's already yellow. Now they have all the metal bg bg in the mouth, and you don't brush properly, it's gonna get worse, lah. So it can if you don't take care of it, it's gonna cause more problem, gum problem and dental caries. So brush correctly and ask your dentist to teach you how to brush if you need help. Yeah. Wow, that's right. It sometimes can see vegetable oil. Like yeah. stuck yeah. in between. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Okay. Any more okay. questions? Uh, God, but I think we answered it already. Uh, oh, I think someone... Okay. The same person asked again, uh, say, an anonymous. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it okay to gargle your... Gargle with mouthwash after brushing. So we answered that already. Okay. Okay. Anonymous okay, I have one friend. question. Yeah, I have one ahead. question. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, when was the last time you changed your toothbrush? Ah, Sam. Sam, ah. you answer this one, Sam. Samantha should yes. answer. Samantha should answer. On behalf of all the teenagers <laughs> in the world. Uh. Um, I think it was around February this year. February. Six months. Uh, six months. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Other, people, other people, you want to give your answer? Can. Yes, how, yes. How, about, how about everybody yes. come in the chat? Time in, the chat. in the comment section. When was the last time you... <laughs> yes, when was the last time you changed your toothbrush? That's, right. ah. That's right, yes. Let us Kanesh, go. how about you? Kanesh, okay, so how about you? I, 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 well, don't well, go well, by, I don't go by chronological or time one. Once I see my toothbrush ah. go flat all the way, I, I change. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You wait until flat. Huh? Yes. <laughs> how long did it take to become flat? I don't know. A couple of months. <laughs> a couple of months. A couple of months. Okay. Because I brush okay. like really scrape it, right? Okay, lah. Uh, so, actually, not, not like that. Okay. But go okay, ahead. La, the last thing I let you know about toothbrush, lah. Okay, how do we, uh, when do we need to change our toothbrush? Okay, there are three conditions. Okay, number one, after you recover from any sickness, you got cough, uh, fever, anything happened already, then you should change your toothbrush. Okay, because there's really a lot of bacteria got stuck on the toothbrush, on the bristles. So that you can change your toothbrush, number one. Okay. Number two, uh, whenever the bristles rosa already, I become flat already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So have to change. Definitely have to change. Okay. Number three, what happened if the bristles didn't become flat? It's still nice. Okay. So if it's still nice, doesn't mean you can still use it. Okay. After about three months, three to four months, you should change it, even though it still looks very good. Okay. Because there's too much bacteria on it. You need to change it. Okay, these are the conditions. Mm. So next thing, how do you choose a suitable toothbrush? Usually, we advise to get a soft toothbrush. We don't use medium medium or hard. These, these two are too uh, harmful to our teeth, la, uh, to our teeth and our gum. So use soft and very uh, soft, uh, even softer brushes mm. is fine. Uh, Use a smaller head toothbrush so that it can reach the back easily. Right. 
Okay, so whenever you brush, brush gently, brush longer, so that mm. it can protect your teeth better. Well, now I wonder okay. why people invent big toothbrush with, with hard mode. All this money making <laughs> industry. <clears throat> okay, no, 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 yeah. not necessary. <laughs> like, yeah? Okay. Okay. All okay. Right. Good. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Nice. Yeah, actually, my mouth feels very clean now. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Different, huh? Feels different. But feels the way you brush yeah. is the same, uh, Pastor. <laughs> hey, you, hey, the camera trick like that one. You didn't see the <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, okay. So I, I guess uh, that's all we will hear from Dr. Weising today. Uh, just type it on okay. the comment section and thank him for being part of the show. But we'll bring him back later towards the end of the program. Uh, right now, yeah. we're going to move uh, to another uh, guest panel for today. Uh, and let me introduce Dr. Ong Lee Teng. Yes, that's right. Woo! Yes. Okay, of course, if you've got any questions regarding dental and oral health care, just type it out in the comment section or the, the, the Slido. Uh, we will attempt to get it answered maybe in a different way like, through Instagram stories yes. or whatnot. Yes. But Dr. Lee Teng is here with us today. And let me yeah. read out her profile. Very simple. It's just two lines. Hi, I'm Dr. Lee Teng. I practice in uh, Hospital Sungai Bulo and I play futsal competitively. <laughs> wow. Previously, la, not now. <laughs> uh, <obvious laughs> okay, yes, yes. Well, competitive futsal player. I, I'm very scared of the word competitive uh, these days. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Wow. Okay, so yes. welcome, Dr. Lee Ting. Yes, thanks wow, for being with us. Hey, but wow. I, I'm very curious to like, you know, because like in the whole spectrum of doctors in the world, right, there's like specialty in all body parts like just now we spoke about uh, or oral health care so dr Li Ting, as like currently your general right general health care are you like aware of this whole dentist thing or oral health care is it something that you already know because you're a doctor or <laughs> how does that work uh, some some things are new to me also but okay. uh, yeah i guess the 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 technique of uh, toothbrushing thing i i i knew from before like the circular motion and you have to brush for two minutes kind of thing right okay uh, but yeah I, I don't floss either <laughs> something that i yeah, <laughs> should try soon i think no like you probably know flossing yeah. is good like, it's the same like everybody everybody know flossing is good they just don't do it <laughs> yeah, it's too lazy to do it yeah okay 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 awesome awesome okay guys if you're watching we've got dr lee Ting here uh together with us and uh this is where you get to ask questions regarding general health care okay so similar to pastor andy he hasn't changed his shirt for the longest of time every exchange chat you come in you see him wearing the same shirt so is that <laughs> good or not these are the kind of questions you want to ask especially during mco right you always go to school uh you know with your pajamas you you wake up you don't shower or you shower once a day or none a day uh i mean sometimes why right because you're not going out and stuff so if you want some of these questions answered uh, you want to feel good of doing wrong thing? Type it out in the in the Slido, and we we'll try to attempt. Uh, we we'll attempt to get it answered. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. Cool. So we've covered mouth hygiene, right? Oral hygiene. Okay. Um. So, what are the other parts that we should keep clean? <laughs> so everything. <laughs> <laughs> and how you know? So so let's let's talk about maybe like um. Uh, I mean, in your experience as a doctor, you, I'm sure you've dealt with patients or you've seen people who, uh, for whatever reason, la, uh, they came to see you and the issue is perhaps connected to a hygiene issue, like, right? Maybe they didn't, they didn't uh, take care of this particular part and now it's affected. Um, what are some of the common ones? Like, you know, that, that would probably give us a clue that a lot of people don't, uh, don't keep clean in those areas like i don't know like do, do people wash the back of their ears <laughs> you know <laughs> kata, kata. Uh, uh, or, or like their armpits you know uh yeah yeah okay so so of course uh personal i mean like cleanliness or personal hygiene encompasses the whole body lah. yeah but definitely yeah. you're right uh, certain areas are more uh prone to be more dirty than others lah, i suppose yeah. yeah. So yeah. so uh in general, of course, if you're talking about a hygiene issue, uh a lot of times if you don't keep clean, like okay, if you don't shower uh often enough, then <laughs> it will probably most likely be related. Uh what's quite common is like skin skin issues like fungal infections. Um uh -huh. 
uh, and the kind of stuff. Yeah. So this could happen anywhere in the body, but of course, certain places like the folds of your skin, like your neck, behind your neck, yeah, your ears, uh, your groin, like uh, yeah, these areas uh will trap more bacteria or like you will sweat more because it's like your skin fold area, right? And that will uh, lead to accumulation of like the dead skin cells, the oil, the bacteria and all that. Lah. And yeah, so some of the medical issues that may arise from that is like what I mentioned, like fungal infections, skin infections, uh, yeah, uh, sk uh, things like scabies. All these will occur if you don't uh, take care of your hygiene well. So we did a yeah. so, so in general our skin do yeah. have bacteria. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, in general our skin do have like normal bacteria and, and our skin will regenerate. So you'll have the dead cells, the oil, you know, especially when uh you will notice like uh as teenagers your skin gets more oily uh because of all the hormonal changes that are happening. Uh, uh so yeah, all these things will will cause you to have to pay more attention to your hygiene. Yep. Okay, so teenagers uh, have a lot of like what were you you, you were saying like the, the changes in their hormonal uh, balances, right? And so I guess they are growing, yeah, so right. very oily. Uh, so very interesting because we also did a poll uh, in, on Instagram and asked, right? Hey, mm. you know this this lockdown, right? You're stuck at home, online class, everything at home, right? Uh, and we asked our teens, hey, what is one sort of like one not so hygienic habit? that you develop during lockdown, right? And uh, well, we didn't get a lot of answers, <laughs> but the, the answers that we, that we did get, uh, they mentioned showering. That means they know that showering is important, but the word they used was lazy to shower. Lazy. That means either they should have showered three hours ago, but didn't cause of lazy, so they showered much later which therefore allows more time for bacteria to collect <laughs> and hang out on their body. Or lazy can mean like supposed to shower today, but didn't go to sleep without showering <laughs> tomorrow only shower. <laughs> I don't know what that means, yeah. uh, but no, uh, well, the most common yeah. answer. Yeah? Let's ask Sam. Uh, let's ask Sam. Uh, Sam, Sam, <laughs> do you agree? Because I don't know whether you answered the Insta <laughs> Instagram poll or not, but the x Instagram poll, the, co the popular answer is lazy to shower. Do you agree or disagree as a teenager? Um, I know people personally who do that, but not me because um, I'm scared of the okay, virus. Of course. I'm scared of the virus, so I shower more frequently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow. Okay, okay. No, but Sam, so, why, uh, why would you say that people are lazy to shower? Uh, I think I've kind of experienced the dilemma as well. It, it's like because everything is online, so it's like I can just get up from bed. I don't even have to brush my teeth and I just go online and no one would, no one would know actually if I've if I'm actually showered or brush my teeth. So like um I wouldn't need to put the extra effort to 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 present myself. Like. Sometimes you can just go to class like with, with cameras off anyways. So <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So so I, I think I think uh, it's true. Lah. In other words, <laughs> we can conclude that yeah, uh teenagers uh, do face this particular issue of being lazy to shower so and ended up either showering too late with it too long to shower or don't shower at all in a day and that may cause problems according to what dr Li has said because that is uh is a is an issue of hygiene uh and if you don't shower there are places in your body where bacteria uh collects and gather easily and that can cause other issues right so so um, yeah. how, how many times in a day? I mean, how many times should we shower? Like, no, uh, yeah, what, what would be a good practice? <laughs> I think, in general, especially in Malaysia, uh, at least daily or at most, uh, I, I think the acceptable frequency is daily lah, because of our weather, like, uh, <laughs> our weather is hot and humid. Uh, of course, some people may say they are in the aircon room and all the whole day in the kind of thing. Uh, and I'm sure some of you will know people uh, in the Western world who bathe like once in two days, three days, four days, <laughs> and it's fine. Oh, man. Um, okay. <laughs> I think in our humidity, uh, we definitely sweat a lot more. So sweat definitely plays a part in uh, harboring uh, uh, like bacteria and contributes to things like body odor, 
right. so so I think daily is the daily is the acceptable norm here lah. Yeah, at least daily. And uh, I think I agree with Samantha. Personal hygiene uh, is affected a lot by our by what we what our standard or or, or the expectation of others. Uh, that causes us to keep our personal hygiene, and hence because MCO is like how it is, then uh, we can get away with it. So therefore, we <laughs> go into this rut of uh, like not really caring much or putting much effort into it, lah. Yeah, but I think all the ah. more in MCO, we need to have a routine because everything else is kind of haywire already, uh, and and therefore the aspect of self care comes into play where. We need to take care of our personal hygiene for ourselves, lah, instead of the expectation of others. Right. Yeah. Right. So, uh, I I I point back to when you mentioned the uh, people in the Western countries. You know, maybe they have more cold weather. Uh, they don't shower one or two days sometimes, right? I I I testify to that because I study in uh in the US, uh, and you know I'm from Malaysia, so I've never experienced winter before. And when I yeah. got there, right, and it's winter, right. My record is ah, uh, I didn't shower for five days. <laughs> Why five am I not days. surprised, Pastor? <laughs> Because it's too cold. It's too cold. It's too cold, and 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 my skin was very dry, and like I did, just didn't feel like I want to shower because it's so cold, and didn't feel the need to also because you didn't sweat, you know. Uh, and I thought like, wow, five days to row, man. But I went to class, and my American friends, some of them, were well, one two weeks also didn't shower. Oh man! Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's bad. But hey, I would like to read out a comment ah uh, on Discord, which we are streaming this uh uh chat as well. Uh, we got one teenager uh who is from uh Chungganu as well, which is uh so happens where Doctor Wei Sing is from. This teenager from Chungganu mentioned that the thing is, the thing is that I am not lazy to shower. I just literally hate showering until I'm in the shower, and then I never want to get out of the shower. And then I'm out of the shower and I never want to go back in, but I also want to stay in and never get out. Don't mind me. So <laughs> this is very, very, very teenager. <laughs> yes, yes. Not a question, but just a comment. So I thought I'll read out this very interesting comment. <laughs> wow, wow. I'm not lazy, but I just don't. I just hate showering. But I want once I'm in there, I know I never want to get out. And once I get out, I don't want to go back in. Samantha, how do you feel about that comment? Does it describe? <laughs> does it describe your peers, your friends, yourself? Uh, I wouldn't agree with it for me because I I love the shower and uh, it's warm and yeah, I feel a lot comfortable in the shower for me. So yeah. great, okay. great. Hey, men- uh, Samantha mentioned about warm showers and all that. Doctor Lee, think is there a difference between a warm shower and a cold shower in terms of? In terms of no, I'm just not just preference, right? But in terms of like uh, cleanliness, like does it actually matter? Is it like is warm water better because it kills the bacteria faster, <laughs> but more effectively? And cold, cold is not, or like is there any scientific backing to cold shower or hot shower? I don't think so because the warm water that we shower with is not hot enough to kill the bacteria per se. So <laughs> okay, unless yes, you bathe yes. in boiling water, lah, but that one is <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think it really. Is- Uh, I think what's important is uh, the use of soap uh, okay. and and running water lah, basically, which is how we shower anyway. I think it's fine and paying okay. attention to to areas uh, which like uh, which we mentioned that could collect more uh, dead skin cells, like you know, like our armpits, our skin folds, groin area, that kind of thing. Yeah, soap and water lah, not so much the temperature of the water. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. So it doesn't matter whether it's cold or hot. Unless it's boiling hot, then it doesn't really make a difference. But more importantly, is running water and make sure you use soap, not yeah. just running water. Okay, great. Let's see whether there's any question. Ganesh, you want to check around and see? Let me let check Slido and see if there's anyone asking any questions. Yeah, Slido, Tiada. Um, okay. <laughs> <coughs> I, I like that uh, you said keep clean, not because uh, you are meeting people, but because it's it's a health thing, right? You should keep clean. Keep clean whether or not you are meeting people or not. Um, okay. Uh, what about environment? Like, uh, I mean, body aside, because hygiene is not just about body, but but environment, right? Like your room. Uh, you, I I I think some people uh, because they're always online on screen, so they started 
eating on table and then they you know the, the area is a bit messy crumbs are on the floor etc uh, how about things like uh, by environment i also mean like uh, changing shirt frequently uh, what do you have to say about things like that in relation okay. to hygiene yeah right i think with regards to clothes uh because our clothes was also in contact with our skin right uh yeah especially our underwear and that kind of thing so i think uh with bathing once a day uh, at at the least i think changing clothes so should be changed once a day lah. not that we don't go out of the house then we just wear the same clothes forever and ever uh yeah because the the dirt and bacteria can also build up on your clothes uh, and can collect the dead skin cells the, sco- the sweat the body fluids uh all these things that the bacteria love to eat on and process and that will cause uh, your clothes to smell and also contribute to your body odor and, and that kind of thing. Lah. Yeah. So I think changing clothes once a day is should should be practiced. Uh, in terms of environment, I think it goes without saying that yeah, whatever we leave hanging around will collect more and more dirt and bacteria as we go along. Uh, so yeah, definitely uh, I, I would Actually, I do lah. I do sometimes eat on the bed also. <laughs> but uh, yeah, make sure to clean it, and then I guess you can change your sheets one to two weeks once in the coffee. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, guys, uh, just, just in case you're wondering, I know just now we talk about brushing teeth and then we brush teeth on camera. Don't worry, we will not be showering on camera. Okay? <laughs> um, I, I know Kanish really ready. wants to do it. But I, yeah, yeah. But I was chatting with him, but I said, Kanish, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. I, I, I don't know. I feel like that there is, uh, I mean, just talking about bacteria and cleanliness felt like it, it hasn't really uh, drive the, in a sense, the, the fear of needing to be keep clean, right? So maybe share with us or uh, scare us, right? What's the worst that can happen, you know, if we are dirty and uh, let's say we choose not to shower for, you know, two or three days because it's fine, right? I'm only at home and I don't sweat. Uh, yeah. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> yeah. The worst that can happen. Uh. Well, I mean, you you definitely can catch all sorts of bugs lah, everywhere. Of course, now in the light of the... <laughs> Was <laughs> in the light of the current, in the light of the current pandemic, uh, a lot of attention is paid on, like keeping your hands clean. Okay. Uh, don't touch your face. Uh, shower after you come back from wherever you went. Uh, mm. and this all part and parcel of getting rid of any germs that can be on your body or on surfaces around you. Yeah. So like you mentioned about, uh, like surfaces on the table and that kind of, because that's how infections or germs or bacteria. Uh, spread right through our bodily secretions like when we sneeze or cough and then somebody else comes and touch the surfaces that we are in contact with and then that's how it spreads uh so the worst could happen is definitely you get like a like a infection that could kill you la, like covid for example uh, of course uh yeah so uh quite common skin uh, infections that are related to poor hygiene is like fungal infections so like uh, uh I'm sure you've heard, like, a lay person would say, like, athlete's food, like, where your feet are very smelly, uh, no matter what you do. Or, like, if you have, like, a rash that is, like, personally there, like, the fungal rash will take, like, very long to clear one because of how it is, uh, it's difficult to treat, lah, basically. Mm. And it, all this is related to poor hygiene. Uh, things like scabies. Scabies is, a, is, like, a type of mite that can live on your bed sheet, uh, on your clothes or your towel. And then they will they will burrow under your skin, <laughs> and then cause you to itch, uh, very badly, uh, especially at night. Yeah. So these are some of the wow. infections that can can uh, are are related like, to to poor hygiene. Yeah. yeah. Of course, it's not like, I mean, I it's yeah. I, I don't know how scary Kanish wants me to be, but. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah. your hand will drop off <laughs> by yourself. <laughs> say something like that, but okay. Yeah, those are, these are some of the. I, I have some questions. Yeah, I have some questions in mind lah, but they're not very, very deep lah. But I'll just ask anyway. In, you know, while people are maybe typing out the question, uh, this is like a perception stereotype thing lah. Okay. Uh, mm. in, but in your experience as a doctor, you've seen patients and all that lah. Um, uh, girls 
really, really more clean than guys? In general, yes, but there are also girls that are dirty and boys that are clean, like, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Samantha, what do you think, Samantha? Like, you know, in your experience as a teenager, you know, do you think like g- girls are generally more clean, cleaner than guys? Um, I, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I think compared, like, <laughs> um, I, um, according to my experience in um government school last time, uh, like. We used to pass by the the male and the female toilets, and um, both Whoa. I think both are equally as dirty. So I wouldn't say oh, that. My gosh. Yeah, I wouldn't say that girls are more hygienic. Yeah, but if it's like in my household, I think yes, girls are more hygienic. Yeah. Yeah, like like what you're comparing with your brother or something, is it? Yeah, <laughs> but I think sometimes it's related to uh. Sometimes we, I think it's related to social norms or expectations. So like girls generally want to look good. In general, like in general, girls yeah, yeah. want to look good more compared to boys. Whereas boys are like ah whatever lah, uh, doesn't really matter, right, right, doesn't right. really bother me. Though. So I think that is why uh, sometimes these habits form, I suppose. Ah okay okay okay. Uh, while people are typing out the question, I got another question. Um, earwax. <laughs> okay, is is it important? Or necessary to actually clear out your earwax because I I heard someone in the medical line say before actually you don't need to clear your earwax one the the earwax is there for a reason for protection yeah. so you don't have to clear out because you clear out means you clear out the protection already you, you know but protect then, from what pastor protect from what the mother and father yapping ah nagging <laughs> nagging right <laughs> ah Wait, that's right that's right, right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry what do you say <laughs> ah never mind never mind ah ciao <laughs> <laughs> protection okay. but yeah c- please clear that myth for us <laughs> okay yeah it, it is true that you don't have to use uh uh items like cotton bud or the the traditional that still thing picking thing to clean uh, yes it. yes yeah, yeah actually it's okay. true because uh, there are higher chances of you injuring your your eardrum or your ear canal rather than clean actually cleaning it so actually our body uh has a natural mechanism to remove the earwax. So in our ear canal, there are very small, what we call cilia. Cilia is like a small, fine uh, fingery thingies in our ear canal, which will push the old earwax out naturally. So you just have to clean the outer area of your ear or whatever earwax that is like literally at the outside. Like you don't have to put anything inside. You just use a clean cloth or tissue or whatever to just clean the outs, outer area of your ear and your ear canal. Uh, and then uh, it will be fine. Right. If your ear is stuck, you can actually use earwax softeners to drop inside. It's like an ear drop to drop inside uh, your ear canal. Uh, and that will soften the wax to allow the natural mechanism of removing the earwax to take place. Yeah. But if wow. your ear is really, really stuck and like you put that ear softener so tajalan, then it's best to see a doctor to help you to clear it. Uh, yeah, doctor. So, uh, doctor, doctor, pastor. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah. The earwax concept same with the nose, lah. Cause I don't do anything, right? It, it come out. Then you just need to <laughs> clean this part. <laughs> See that? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. But can you must clear the one that can be seen, lah? That hanging around. Right? Doctor, <laughs> doctor, you think say clear the one that's out the outer area, ma? Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. Hey, Samantha, so, so I saw you nodding the whole time when Doctor Liting said that it is. It, it, it looks as if you knew all this already. Is it true? Do you knew about your earwax? Uh, I think I know because I learned it in school. Yeah. Oh wow! Uh, Pastor, you don't learn these kind of things in school, huh? <laughs> My school time, I don't know what they were teaching me, but good, good, good to hear that. That means that means our school is actually uh teaching our students, right? Uh, and actually I can't help but think that wow, this is like earwax. Now, do you hear what Doctor Lee thinks it? Like our body has this automated right. mechanism. Right. I mean that that just reminds me of the of the genius of our god you know who created our body wow like like he even thought until uh think until earwax you know <laughs> not just yeah. the brain heart kidney or the complications until earwax also god already yes. designed already you know yes you need to flush so out actually, all the side yeah uh. all the side like yes. anything that is uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Hey, actually yeah uh, actually yeah uh, sorry i got another question that is like seriously not deep at all uh, but Technically, what do you call the the you know Hokkien called baksai, uh, the the eye, 
<laughs> because I don't know what to. I, I say I'm I'm trying to teach my children like proper words. You know, like even our genitals, right? I don't teach them all the. Sorry lah, right. just say lah because the teenager. Yeah. I don't say a cuckoo bird or this. You know, I don't teach them all these words. I teach them the actual proper word. Yeah. But then when they came to the the eye, the baksa, yeah, I I like. Eh, what do I, I call this? I ah? wax. I wax. I wax. You say I tried that, but currently I'm using I poop. <laughs> 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 but what's the proper term? Samantha or anyone? Do you all know? What do you, what do you call that? That 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 deposit uh, from your. We we usually call it eye discharge, lah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I gotta have to explain to my son what is discharge first of all. Yeah. <laughs> eye discharge. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Currently, we are at eye poop, lah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god, Kanis never thought of this question, right? Wait, one day you have children, you'll be like, eh, what do I... I oh, teach them all the cuckoo bird stuff, lah. <laughs> 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 That's how I grew then, up. <laughs> then when they go to science book, they, eh, how come the, my, the word my father teach me is not in science book? <laughs> ah. Or what still, the exam, they answer that. <laughs> Ini apa benda? Cuckoo bird. Ah. Always, that one. Always, eh. yes, type mata, yes. type mata. <laughs> <laughs> type mata. Type mata, I think it's actually a legit... Uh, Term yeah, yeah. in 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 yeah, the language, yeah. right? In the Malay yeah, language, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. It's okay. a lay, it's a lay language, lah. Lay language, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. I discharge. Okay, <laughs> okay. All okay. right, all right. Um. Okay. okay. What other areas we haven't covered yet in terms of personal hygiene? Yes, we probably can cover one more question. If anyone wants to ask, just type it in the comment section or type it in Slido. You have the next thirty seconds to do so, and we will try to cover that. I'm yeah, also thinking, yeah. uh, hmm, hygiene. Ah. Yes. Apparently, right? Uh, so I, I, I have friends who are also in the medical field, uh, and then, and then this whole COVID thing, uh, resurfaced the whole uh, importance of cleaning your hands, right? And cleaning your hands is not just like water and soap. There's actually proper way where you have to scrub here, you have to scrub here, you have to scrub here, and all that. Yeah. Do 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 you know that how 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 to do that like some ninja? Sam, okay, Sam together. Together. okay, okay, together. Let's do oh, this. Sam, okay. Maybe, maybe Sam, well. oh, Sam, you want tissues? <laughs> Sam, your school got tissue or not? Because your school tissue about, you know, earwax, brushing <laughs> teeth. Come, show us how to wash hands. Yes. 20 seconds. How do you Hi. wash hands? Uh, I only remember like a few steps that I learned from government school. So I don't like remember <laughs> the whole procedure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so basically... There are seven main steps. Seven okay. steps. So, uh, can you try? Wow. We should wash with soap and water for at least twenty seconds. So you have to brush teeth for two minutes, right? So hand washing is for twenty seconds. Okay. So, so we put wow. soap. <laughs> no wonder so girls spend two hours in the shower. Okay. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we can do it together. We we wet our hands and then we put soap on it, right? Okay. Uh, uh, first, we we wash palm to palm. So we rub like this. Now. <laughs> okay. Okay. So palm okay. to palm, like ten times to palm. One, two, three, yes. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. If you're wondering right. how long twenty seconds is, is about is when you sing the happy birthday song twice over. Okay. So you can <laughs> sing to yourself. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. So cool. Ten seconds, man. Okay. 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 Let's go. Okay, Let's so go first time, is palm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Then the next step will be behind. Behind this way. This. Yes. Why wow, is that? Like your fingers. Okay. Okay, okay. One hand and, and then right hand, the other hand. Okay. And then and then switch, okay. right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then after yes. that, we wash the front part, this the in between these fingers. Okay. This is the third step. Okay. Wow. Then after okay. that, we wash the knuckles. See, this is like knuckles? you put a fist. You put a fist oh, like this. Like that. Mm-hmm. You rub over it. Okay. okay. Yeah, left hand and right hand. Okay. Okay. And after that, we wash our in between the thumbs. So here's the thumb, right? Is that here? Yeah. yeah. Swipe down. Oh, okay, okay. Swipe okay. down. Yes. Yeah, and then the other hand. The other hand, how show up for that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. After that, our fingertips. Our fingertips is one of the most dirty areas in our hands. So you rub this way. Oh, yeah, okay, this. okay, this way. So oh, girly, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like how you so gather you your rice, Kanish. Okay. Okay, then lastly, your wrist. 
Riz, okay. Oh, Riz, Riz also, huh? Head. Yes, Riz is oh, part man, of the head. Always forget this part, lah. Ah. Riz. Okay, Riz step seven, Riz. right? The Riz. Okay. Yeah, Riz is the last step. So. Wow, I do it without water yeah, and soap also. I feel so clean now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so those are the seven steps of uh, proper hand washing to cover all areas of your hands. La. Why Why is it necessary, yeah. though, and compared to, like, just... <laughs> because this feature, all the surfaces uh, are okay. covered because the germs and bacteria can hide. Like usually you just wash like that, right? But then right, right, all right. the the spaces, your fingertips. But uh, do people actually do it though? This whole step, it, it looks like it takes like two minutes. For him. Uh, <laughs> we should lah. Ideally, we should lah. We should, we should, we should yeah. Okay, okay. So in the hospital, uh, they are actually we we call them infection control nurses. They actually can do spot check and then ask you. Okay, show me how you wash your hand. Oh yeah. no! To do wow. Wait. So sometimes to test, right? They will put we call it glow germs. Means like uh, you know, like those uh UV pen thing, like you draw, okay. but then you cannot see under what un- unless you shine the UV light. So they will spread the thing on our hands. Then ask them to ask us to wash, and after they will test whether got germs or not. Even when we do this, we can still see the germs on our hands. Yeah, wow. so that just shows that you really need to be thorough to get rid of all the germs and bacteria that our hands carries. Yeah, our hands are the most, quite one of the most dirty parts of our body also. Wow, okay, yeah. okay. But but it's good to know, good to hear you mention that in the hospital, they've got, they got people QCing, making <laughs> sure all the doctors, nurses are yeah. clean. Yeah, it makes me feel more confident going to hospital now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As though you won't yeah, go yeah. to the hospital because of that. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Ah, we must promote lah. You know our no government school, government hospital. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Very good. That's good. Okay, so it's nine o one. I think. Yes. Let me see is. whether there's any other questions that uh our audience. I think today got fifteen thousand people. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, yeah, no more questions uh, from our audience. Okay, Kanish, any more questions from your side? How about, how about Samantha? Samantha, you, you have your chance now. You have a doctor in front of you. Um, later on, we'll bring back the dentist as well. Do you, do you have one burning question that you want to ask? Uh, no, no, actually. All right, okay. great. You are, you, are, you are hygienic. Okay. Yes, okay. Clean, clean uh, enough. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, clean enough. All right, awesome. Okay, I think that's about it, right, Kanish, today? Yes, let's bring back our Dr. Wasting back on the screen. Yeah. All all five of us. Wow. (laughs) Okay. This is uh, the end for Exit Chat for today. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Those of you watching, we really, really appreciate your time. And I hope that today's uh, Exit Chat blesses you one way or another uh, just by learning how to be clean, right? Uh, yeah, and, and that's going to be really important. Uh, once again, help me thank uh, both Dr. Lee Tae and Bo- Dr. Wei Xing uh, together uh, with Samantha. Thank you for joining us. Uh, just type it in the comment section and uh, we will get to see that. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks yes. for teaching us to be clean. Yes. Thank you yes. so much. So one thing I learned today in summary is that uh, good things take time. Okay. Wow, you cannot, la, yeah. you cannot <laughs> anything, anything worth doing takes time you cannot shortcut the process okay yes. if you shortcut is no longer a good thing so brush your teeth okay don't be like me brush once one minute only at least two minutes but not just the not just the duration it's a technique as well as we heard from yes. dr way saying yes. uh, and dr Liting as well please yes clean your all of your body parts but pay attention to those areas where you know it's easy for the bacteria to collect and uh, remain uh and uh yeah so good things do take time all right. Thank you so much. That's right. Everybody. So follow us on Instagram, on Facebook to find out when our access chat will be next time. It happens yeah. usually on the second and fourth uh, Thursday of the month. But I think August, we have five Thursdays. So make sure you stay tuned to the exact dates of when we are meeting. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. I'll see Thank you. Thank you. Everybody, time. good night. Bye-bye.